Hey everyone, I'm Army Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monster Legends. In this video, I am going to show you exactly how to get the brand new monster, Krusty, and then we'll talk about everything else going on in the van because there's in the game because there's a lot of events going on. So the Tails Challenge, Krusty. First of all, in order to even participate in this challenge, you need to have five of each item. So hopefully you already have five of each item. Let me go ahead and click everything. Once you click that you have five of each item, you will get an avatar for Krusty. So there you have it. Claim and I got my Krusty avatar. If for any reason you don't have the items, please make sure to check your storage. Check storage, click on the little treasure chest. For all you know, you probably have like a Krusty chest that you could open that will give you the items. So see, this gives you one of each item. So again, this is one of the easier events because you can, you should get all the items. Whether you watch Monster Wood, whether you do the tokens dungeon, you should be able to get them. You should know Social Point does sell. Where is it? Social Point does sell. Um, right here, the Krusty Tails chest. The problem with this thing is you only get one random token. So if you're missing like three items, I don't think I could recommend for you to purchase this because you might have to purchase a ton of them to get the, those necessary items you need. So throwing that out there, I don't think it's worth it because you might end up paying a lot more than the 10 or 20 or 30 gems you need. You could spend 100 and maybe not even get what you need. But yeah, that is an option. But going back to the Tails Challenge, so the way this event works, it's very simple. You need to collect gold, feed your monster, and fight. So fighting is simple. You can do this every two hours. If you're having any difficulties, what you can do is you can exit out on all your monsters and put the absolutely weakest monsters you have, right? So the highest level I have is a 40. So watch what happens. When I exit out, and when I go back on the node, check it out. They are now low level. So now... I don't I can beat them with any of my monsters. So if you are in a situation where you can't beat those monsters, do not worry. There is that simple shortcut to easily be able to beat them. So now you can just OTK them. Look at the churn order, it's crazy. So yeah, if you have like three level four monsters and level 30 monsters, pretty level four monsters, and they will all scale down to the highest level. So yeah, the fight is easy. Um feed your monsters, it's also easy. You literally just feed a monster. So hey, where's the monster I can feed? Tank carry on. Alright. Let's feed him a couple levels. You'll notice you won't get any item. That's fine. Here, we'll feed him to level 10. And, ooh, still no items. What's going on? That's fine. Collect gold is simple. You literally collect all. If you have it, if not, you can just collect different habitats. And then we kind of just wait around. La da 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 da. All right, let's go back into my monster vaults and let us click feed once and take a, take a look at that. Plus four chicken legs. And then you'll see some maze coins. We'll talk about the maze coins later. And then we'll go back to collecting gold and collect gold. And bam, plus 30, plus 6, there you have it. So, till the event, done. Collect gold, you can get 6 items every single 8 hours. Feed your monsters, you can get 4 every single 8 hours. And again, fight, you can do every every 2 hours. The hatch egg, um, in my personal opinion, the hatch egg isn't even required. So take a look at this. The cost right now is 151 gems if I wanted to skip the note entirely. Let me go ahead and sell this light spirit. All right, I'll put a monster into the hatchery, and then I will hatch my Thunder Eagle. Oh, man, I'm out of space. Let's see. Okay, perfect. I got plus 50 coins, and I got plus one hatch. All right, remember, the cost used to be 151. Let's click on the Tails Challenge. It's 150. So the hatch egg and the um, breeding, that doesn't lower the cost so much. So if you can, if you have to ignore hatch egg and um, breeding, go ahead and ignore it. What really lowers the cost is the collect gold and the feeder monster. So that is what you want to do. Now, granted, right now, we have this very new maze going on. Your Choose Your Own Path maze. Um, Metal Beat is in there. Urkin is in there. Um, Pandov Explorer is in the middle. So, you get to choose what monster you want to go for. Do you want to go for Metal Beat? Do you want to go for Urkin? Do you want to go for both of them? Get cells for both. You know, there's also a level 5 rune. There's a bronze relic chest. Another level 5 rune, a bronze relic chest. So you basically get to decide, um, in my personal opinion, none, none of these monsters are that good. It really depends whether you want a metal monster, whether you want a, I think he's what, thunder monster. What I would say is look through my exclusive first looks and then also figure out who do you need more. Metal beat an attacker, Urkin more of a support monster. So you have to figure that out for your, for your own. I would say move during the 20% discount and probably after this will be a 10% discount and then no discount. So make sure to take advantage of the moving. As far as how to get maze coins, it's the same as all the other events, right? Every four hours, you can get a different number of maze coins. So, um, remember, collecting food, you should be able to get up to 50 coins. Um, collecting gold, you should be able to get 30. And feeding, I'm probably missing some on feeding. You should get some from feeding. Watch, plus two there. So, none of that changes. In terms of PvP, 
You should be able to get 15 every time you win a battle. So let me win a quick battle. I am climbing trophies for the PvP video. So that's why I'm right now in a more competitive league than I normally would be. Can I win with this team? Maybe I can win with this team. Um, here, let's check a defense. All right, yeah, my defense is actually winning some battles. So um, I'm in a situation where the battle is getting tougher. But yeah, um, I recommend putting a weak defense. You know, that always works. Oh, I don't know if I'll win this one. Um, Slime miss. Ooh, recharge. What? What do I have? Evasion? All right, let's go Daedalus. Bye-bye, Daedalus. Mountain goes. Double show. Hey, I'm running. They are weak. It actually came in handy. They are weak. Uh, save Rossi. All right, sunburn damage. Show must go on. Hey, look at Santerion just protecting everything. All right, let's go. Hey, it worked. Okay, cool. Um, remember to sub, burning, sunburn. All right, cool. So remember, for PP, you actually got to win the battle. When you win the battle, you get your 15 maze coins. And then spin the roulette wheel. And right now, there's also a 7-tower challenge. So you also get challenge coins. Awesome. So let's get that. So a lot of events going on. So let's exit out of that. Ooh, Legendary 3 League. Let's exit out. So yeah, um, this is they, they're pretty straightforward. What you could do, since normally the advice is to log in every 4 hours for the maze, and for the progressive it's log in every 8 hours, what you could do is just stick with 4 hour logins. So instead of collecting gold getting 6, you, you should be getting 3 every 4 hours. Feed your monsters, you should be getting 2 every 4 hours. So just make sure to keep a timer on your phone or on your watch, letting you know, hey, it's 4 hours, log into the game. Again, you could always use Pan um, Panikin. You could always use Thunder Eagle. As a timer, see how it says 4 hours? Like, there's my 50 coins for collecting food. See how it says 4 hours? So, Thunder Eagle is my timer of the last time I logged in. And then we have the 72 hour challenge. Ooh, Shakti! I like Shakti, but my advice is the same. Go for runes more than anything. Not runes. Go for gems more than anything. Gems is what matters the most. So, go for your gems. Go for the relics. In terms of the monster usability, again, none of these monsters are really that good. What does Sylvanas do? Lots of increased healing and stuff. Um, this epic monster has AoE stun. But yeah, like... Just go for gems, trust me, especially since you're going to need them for the Tales event. Alright, do we have anything else on the Moochie Breeding event? So the Moochie Breeding event, welcome to a very special breeding event. Use monsters you've earned in past months of Legends um, for a high chance to get a brand new Mythic Monster Moochie. But that's not all. If you don't get Moochie, you may obtain three amazing Legendaries. Pierside, Little Red Fairy Cap, and Bella. Here's the combination. So you can do Moon Haze plus Andana if you happen to have Andana. So let me go to Breed. Let's go to here. And let's sort by light, element, light. All right, Moon Haze and on Dana. So this Moon Haze was the June free-to-play monster, and on Dana was what the previous month before June, January, February, March, April, May. I think it was the May Golden Edges Pants monster. So let's start breeding. It'll always be a legendary, or it might be the mythic. So if you get one day, twenty-two, um, one day, twenty-two hours, that is. A, that is, if, if you put the right combination, you get a guaranteed monster. So I don't know who I got. It's probably Moochie. It maybe could be Pure Set. It could be Little Red Fairy Cap. It's a guaranteed one of those monsters. So that's how, essentially how you get Moochie. So again, if you don't, if you don't want to get your hatch eggs and your, and if you don't want to do this task, you don't have to because like I said, you can focus on the breeding event and those, the cost isn't even lower too much. You hatching your egg and breeding a monster so if you want to do both of them i would say go ahead and go for it you will however miss out on maze coins for the choose your own path maze so you won't get as many metal b and urken cells although i would say that doesn't matter i would prioritize getting moochie moochie is a significantly better monster than metal b and urken i would say so prioritize getting moochie go ahead and just breed and don't worry so much about the don't worry so much about the maze, I would say, and again, it doesn't really harm you in the progressive challenge. You should definitely get crusty, by the way. If you're deciding for any reason, if you have gems and you're like, armor, should I breed or should I go for crusty? Go for crusty. Crusty is significantly better. Okay, right now, as the next return mythic monster, he is far better. Another way to get Moochie, by the way, is if any teammate buys a different number of gem packs, they can actually choose to give cells to the whole team. So look, 100 Moochie cells if anyone buys the $50 pack. All right, and then the last thing, which I probably should have started with this, I'm um, going back to, because I want to talk about everything, going back to the Tales Challenge in Krusty, you should expect to spend 150 gems. So here are some screenshots from my previous times doing the Progressive Challenge. All right, as you can see, this is the from the Raw event, so going way back to, this might have been the first time we had a Progressive with a Mythic. So going back, no, 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 we had one before, but I didn't care for it. Okay, so Raw. As you can see, 
when the collect gold is 18, when the feeder monsters is 12, and fight it was three out of three, um, hatch eggs was three out of four, but it doesn't matter. The cost to skip raw was 32 gems. This is the optimal time to skip. Notice how much time has passed. The timer started off with three days, 22 hours. Now it says three days, five hours in this screenshot. So after um, approximately 17 to 18 hours have passed, that is when you want to skip. That is the optimal time to skip. Okay, guys, it'll only cost you 32 gems. Moving on to the next one. The next one, my collect gold is 30. My feeder monster is 20. My breed monsters is 4 and multiplayer is 8 out of 8. So feeder monster is 20. If we divide that by 4, we get 5. So I, after 5 successful logins, by the way, when you first start a brand new node, you can do a full collection. Okay, so if, if you if you gem to skip on the previous one and then start a brand new node, immediately do a full collection. So this is after... So if I do a full collection, then I do four more, four times eight, that's 32. So this is after an additional 32 hours. Wait, am I doing the math right? Um, yeah, I should be doing the math. 30 minus six, that's 24. 24 divided by um, six, that's four, yeah. So after 32 hours, the cost is down to approximately 46 gems. I was able to gem at that point, and then that leads us to the last one where I was able to gem for 71 gems. So if you add up all the amounts, you should expect to spend anywhere around 150. And look at the picture. I actually had a four hour buffer. The thing is for me, um, when this event ends, it's like 3 a.m. So I'm not gonna stay until 3 a.m. So uh, gem when it's most optimal for you. Like if you're about to go to sleep and it's not worth um, waiting all the extra time, go ahead and gem. So anywhere from 150 to like 200 gems, I think is a good amount of reasonable gems to spend on this monster. Um, maybe if you don't have to worry about that four hour buffer, you can probably spend as little as 120 gems. So it really depends on you and your activity level. Also, even if you have to spend 250 gems, 300, I would say go ahead and get the monster. As of right now, there is no way to get old mythic monsters. You know, unless social point puts yourselves in monster wood, there is no way to get old mythic monsters. So I would say just go ahead and get the mythic monster, even if you have to spend a little more, because honestly, what else are you going to use gems for? You know, there's not really another purpose. So... Um, yes, use some gems for Krusty, prioritize getting Krusty. Also, you could use some for the Breeding event. Again, you get a guaranteed Legendary or Mythic. So, you know, I don't know, I don't know if the odds are exactly 25% to get every single combination. But, uh, you know, when all you get are Legendaries and a Mythic and there's no, like, genes or anything, it's pretty good odds. So, I also want to show you guys this. This is from the Monster Legends Guide Discord. And it's slightly different to the information I just mentioned. So, for example, this to get the monster unranked, on the 20 cells, it's recommending you, you, you use up 39 gems at 0 days, 40, 14 hours, and 40 minutes. This is when the collect gold is 17, and the feed is 11, and the hatch is 2. So, again, I think it, whether you follow my advice from the previous um, events, or whether you follow this, that's totally up to you. This is a little more um, specific with regards to that first one, where it's 14 hours and 40 minutes. Um, again, you can wait for the 18 collect gold items on the 12 feed, or you can, could you just save a, a 7 gem difference? Um, overall, if you notice, the total time for this is 3 days, 14 hours, 40 minutes. So there's a huge buffer here, so you can definitely get it for less than 154 gems. So, yeah, there's a huge, huge buffer. So, yeah, guys, whether you follow um, this chart, or whether you follow like what I showed you in the pictures, totally up to you, but again, 150 gems, that is the minimal amount you're gonna be spending, not, not the minimal, that is approximately what you should be spending on this Tales Challenge. So, I also recommend, I'm gonna post links in the description, if you, if this video was confusing, specifically to the Tales Challenge, this is no different than any other event we've had in the past, so there's gonna be a link in the description for another walkthrough video. Um, there's a specific video where I literally documented every single time I logged in, so if that's what you're interested in, if you want to see every single time I logged in, how much time has passed, then I would recommend you check out that video. And that's basically a step-by-step -step video on how to get the Tails monsters. So with that being said, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much, and remember to subscribe.